구독, 좋아요 눌러주세요. We are going to read head lice from disgusting critters. A single head lice is called a louse. Ladies and gentlemen, meet your new louse friend. So, if we have many lice, we call it a lice. But if we only have one lice, we call it a louse. So, we have lice and louse. Many and louse is only one. Oh, hi. The head louse has six legs, which makes him an insect. Well, it's pretty obvious. I'm not a fruit. The head louse is about two and a half to three millimeters long, or an eighth of an inch. He's about the size of a sesame seed. I might be small, but to your parents, I'm scarier than a lion. Louse? Lion. Even if it's small, it can be really scary. The head louse's body is slightly transparent, so we can see inside his tummy. Oh, that's where I put the car keys, so you can see inside his tummy. He can't fly or jump, and because of his very short legs, he even has trouble walking on flat surfaces. Except when I use my skateboard. With the use of a big thumb and claw, at the end of his two front legs, he's very good at moving up and down hair and swinging from one hair to another. You. The louse is born, grows up, and dies on a human head. And he lives for only 20 to 30 days. He can't live on any other animal or in any other environment. A dog? Gross. Let the fleas have him. So lice only live in human. The louse's only food is human blood. He drinks it about five times a day. They call me Count Draculus. A female louse lays three to five eggs a day. The eggs are called nits. She attaches them to their hair with a very sticky, glue-like substance. She makes that guard hardens like cement. I also use it to build my model airplane. The eggs stay stuck to their hair for 7 to 12 days before they hatch. The young head lice, called nymphs, will soon reproduce too. If you don't get rid of them, you'll end up with a head full of lice. They lived happily ever after and had many, many, way too many children. To go from one head to another, the louse has to wait for heads to touch or for people to exchange hats or clothes with lice on them. He doesn't care one bit if you're clean or dirty. Louse transport. It will be so much faster by rocket. The head louse might be gross and annoying and give you some itchy bites, but he's not dangerous. Except when I play with my flamethrower. The head louse is really useful for, um, uh, well, nothing at all, really. So he's not useful, so you should not have lice on your head. Hey, wait, maybe I could whisper the answers to your math test. So the next time you see a head louse, run away. Boo!